We're going to war! Did that work? Did I look like a fighter? A real battle guy? No? Arabian? Maybe Native American? No? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! My name is D Sparrow's Journey, but that you already know. This is totally accurate battle simulator. It's in pre-alpha, as you can see on the screen. So everything you see is subject to change, and it will most likely change in the future. Play game means that I will continue from where I last left off. New game means exactly that, a new game where I am at level 1. Before, previously, I was at level 4. Now I'm at level 1, which I want to start at. So currently, I have 80 money. If I win this fight, and if I advance to level 2, I will get more currency, and eventually I can use more of the expensive units available to me. So I have here a peasant, boxer, farmer, barbarian. Each single one of them have their own advantages. I have not used them all, and I don't know the specifics behind of them all. And But we will eventually learn that while playing the game. So, I'm gonna start with peasants, because let's be honest, I am pretty broke right now, I'm not a good king. So I'm gonna go and spend three peasants over here, alright? And three more peasants over here. We will flank them as well. And three peasants from over here. They can differ not only in... I don't have any more money for three more peasants over here. So I might as well hold up a second. Let's try to manage this differently. They not only might differ in speed, but they differ in utility. Because, for instance, the shield guys bring a huge kick-ass shield at the front. And they will protect whoever is in the back. And there are several different kind of attacks from these guys. So I will use, for instance, a boxer back here. So let's do that. And I have 20 more currency. Let's use two more peasants. One over here and one over here. Let's see. The peasants will protect the boxers that will come up in the back. While I play the game, I can manage my camera. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to keep myself focused on the battle. Let's go! The Rockies are in the back. The sacrificed people are at the front. They're about to clash. I don't see any real big difference from the boxers and the peasants. And it seems that I've lost. Let's go with only peasants right now. I feel that is our strength at the beginning because we don't have much money. So we got to use as many peasants as we can. So three at the front, two in the back. And more to the sides. Let's do this. Three in the back. Let's do this. Maybe this is not the correct formation. You also have to manage their formation. Maybe there's differences between different formations. So let's go. Let's go, boys. We got this now. Let's avenge your fellow warriors before you. Come on. It seems that they are just in a big orgy. And uh, they have not split up evenly. I have only two guys and they have three of them. As you can see, everything randomly happens and from a fight between three against two, I got the victory. So that guy deserves an Oscar, definitely. I'm now at level two and I have $800 to spend or euros or pounds. Peasants are gonna be the ones that are at the front sacrificing their lives for, for instance, archers that they might have in their on their other side. So I am gonna use some poachers, which are archers, but not as good as the archers. They shoot from a much closer distance. So let's go and use the poachers probably back over here. I don't have much currency if I keep using expensive units, but as long as I keep using these ones, I'll have a huge kick-ass army. So let's put a peasant over here. The peasants will be my second line of defense. My first line of defense will be the shield guys. Now these are kick-asses. So let's put three over here. Maybe that's too much. And finally, we can bring some archers back here. One and two. Maybe that will make a difference. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's use the barbarians. Barbarians are the ones that use a mace, and I'm pretty sure they are the ones that run like hell. They have a really huge speed, so let's put a lot of them over here. Maybe this is not the correct formation. I have not ever been a great war guy. These guys will stay back, most likely. They will not just move forward. And finally, one more peasant over here. Let's put one peasant over there. He's gonna be the one guarding or being guarded by the barbarians. Let's go! Let's see how do we do over here. Look at 
The barbarians were the maces. <laughs> Come on! I just I just shot my own guy over there. For real. They have some farmers with pitchforks. I don't think my archers are doing much. They seem to be shooting my own people. Come on, come on, guys. Headshot them. Arrow in the knee. There we go. We might still win this. Good job. Come on, keep doing this. As you can see, the archers have a better bow. And they can shoot from afar. Unlike the poachers. We got the victory! And only because of the archers. I think it was a bad idea to put the archers back there in front of my units because they end up shooting my own units so it's always a good idea to put them on the flank so farmers at the front let's do this something tells me that i'm scattering the units too much maybe i'm not sure let's put some boxers in between i think it's important to use different units and let's try to flank them let's try to flank them with something i have no idea what maybe barbarians because they are speedy as heck so I'll try to flank them with barbarians. I'm gonna put three over here and two more, five of them. Now, together with farmers, these were farmers, right? It would help if uh, they would have different colors and I could see the colors over here. But this is something that will eventually be developed by the team. Screw it, I'm gonna flank them from this side now. Let's see, a lot of boxers coming from the side. If they have archers, they are screwed. I do hope that they are somewhat over here. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they are over there. And if that's the case, I'm not gonna flank much. Let's test this out. Let's see how far am I from them if I put units over here instead. So, three of them. Two more, that makes five. What about, let's see. This is not gonna end up well because I'm gonna end up with five currency unused. So I gotta use one peasant somewhere. Let's put a peasant over there. <laughs> Why not? And let's put a another one over here. All right, let's go. Let's see what's the outcome of this. Yeah, you do. You can't really flank in a sense that they are in the middle. No, you can flank them in a way. Oh my god, they have a lot of range. You can flank by going in a diagonal form, not really in a straight line. Okay, I'm gonna lose this because of the archers. I need to find a way to counter archers and I feel the way to do that is with shields. Ladies and gentlemen, this was my first episode into tabs, I call it tabs, totally accurate battle simulator by Landfall Games. I will eventually make more videos about it Absolutely, because I'm having a ton of fun experimenting with all the different units. You can also sign up for the Alpha. I'll put the link in the description down below so that you can sign up for the Alpha and eventually be selected to help out this game and make it come true on Steam. My name has been The Sparrow's Journey. Like the video if you have and subscribe if you are new around here. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. What the frack was this? I'm supposed to do this.